Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Summer. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my top four affordable perfumes. These are my absolute go-to perfumes. They're inexpensive, they're easy to find. You can pretty much find all of them on Amazon or eBay and obviously from the brand itself online, um, but they're so accessible and honestly, I get so many compliments on them all the time. I thought, why not share with you guys? It's no secret. And I feel like perfumes to us women are one of those things that we like never want to change. Once you're stuck on a perfume and you love it, it's almost like your nail color or your lip color. Like when you have your nail color, you never want to veer away from it. Like some people are just nudes and they stick with the nude nail every time. Some people are only nudes on their lips and they only do nude lips. So for me, I've always been someone who likes to mix it up, play with colors, play with scents. So all of these are different and unique in their own ways, but they're definitely my go-to perfumes I've been using probably for the past two or three years. I don't think I've ever switched any of these out. They're always on deck. They're always ready to go. So without further ado, let's get into the video. But all right, so I'm gonna start with the least expensive perfume I have, and then I'm gonna work my way up to the most expensive. But like I said, all of these are very, very affordable. So the first perfume I'm gonna talk to you guys about is this cute little pink bottle. So this is called Refuge, and it's actually by Charlotte Roos. So some of you may have seen this or have heard about it before. This is honestly my favorite 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 everyday perfume and I kid you not every single time I wear this I get somebody telling me that I smell so good what's even funnier is it's almost always someone of the opposite sex so I always have men complimenting me on this perfume not so much women um but definitely men which I mean Hello, as women, we want to smell good to the opposite sex. Who doesn't want that? So this little pink bottle is, let's see, I think it's, yeah, 1.7 fluid ounces. It is pretty small, but it's so cheap. So if you go into Charlotte Bruce, you can buy this bottle for, I think it's 10 or 10.99. Um, and you can also find it on Amazon or eBay for around $15. So if you don't want to have the hassle of going into the store, which I know most of the time I don't, um, then you can pay a few extra dollars and get it delivered to you. Unfortunately, I don't think they have it on the Charlotte Russe website. I just checked really, really quickly and I didn't see anything for it, but, um, it is worth it to just go into the store, save those few extra bucks. And as soon as I'm out of this, I always re-up on it. It's so funny, I was wearing it um, twice in the past two weeks and I was around two of my guy friends and both of them just kept telling me how good I smell and I was like, it's crazy because this perfume is so inexpensive but it gets the job done, it lasts all day long. Like I'll smell my clothes at the end of the day. That kind of sounds weird. Um, <laughs> but it still has that scent which I love and um, it's hard to describe, but what they describe it as is raspberries, peach, green apple, and sandalwood all mixed together. Yeah, it's just, it's honestly a very unique, unique smell. It's fruity, but that sandalwood kind of balances it out in a way where it's not like, oh, you smell like a fruit, you know? It's more like sexy, intriguing, like I wanna keep smelling more of you. It's that scent that's not overpowering, cause some of these that I'm gonna um, talk about are definitely very overpowering and strong. Um, but this is good just to spritz on all the time. Like I said, it's my favorite everyday go-to one and it's so cheap to replace, which makes it even better. So it's long lasting, cheap, smell good. You can get it at your local Charlotte Russe or online and I'll definitely link everything down below for you guys. All right, the next perfume I'm gonna show you guys, it's actually just the fragrance mist, but they do have the actual perfume um, at Victoria's Secret or on the website. So this is the Very Sexy by Victoria's Secret. Um, and honestly, 
This is another one of my everyday go-tos, but I almost don't like to use it every day because I love it that much and I just don't want to waste it all. Um, the one thing is that I feel like this one doesn't last as long as say the Charlotte Russe one. I feel like the Charlotte Russe one, like you can definitely smell it on you all day. I feel like this one right away you can smell it and everyone, if you, you know, you just spray it, you see people, then they get a whiff of it and they're like, oh, you smell really good. But say like an hour or two goes by, I feel like it's not as pertinent and you just can't smell it as as much as you basically should. But what I will say is because this is the fragrance mist, um, that's probably why it doesn't stay as long. Whereas if you got the actual very sexy perfume, then that one I'm sure is a lot stronger. I've just never went for the actual perfume for it because to me, this is just, I use more as an everyday. Um, and I feel like mists are more for an everyday use, whereas perfumes are obviously, you know, when you're going out or a special occasion and stuff like that. Um, so if you wanna buy the perfume version of this, it's about $55. But if you wanna get the mist, it's $25. So this is a 2.5 ounce bottle and I like having the little bottle just because I can travel with it. You know, you obviously can't travel with the larger ones. But this fragrance is like iconic. I feel like when you think of Victoria's Secret, you kind of think of this fragrance. Almost like, you know when you used to walk into like Hollister or Abercrombie and it would always smell so good, but it was like a specific scent. I feel like this scent just reminds me of Victoria's Secret. And that's what I love so much about it. It's definitely warm. I don't want to say musty because musty, you automatically think something negative of it and it's not a bad musty it's a good musty it's just like warm invigorating um you just kind of like feel it all around you if that makes sense and it has notes of vanilla orchid sun-drenched clementine and midnight blackberry it's definitely more on the sultry side whereas the last one i showed you guys is more like fruity and playful that's a good way to put it it's definitely like a playful like flirty scent this is more like a, more like a serious, mysterious, sexy, very sexy scent. And I like it because it is affordable. Um, and like I said, if you want a stronger one that's gonna last you a lot longer, just go for the perfume version. Um, I just usually go for the mist version and you can find this online, obviously in the store. Amazon sells it and eBay sells it, but it is more expensive on those just because I feel like it is harder to find. Last time I went in there, um, I think it was a semi-annual sale. I tried to buy more of the mist and they only have this travel size. Like they don't have the big size anymore. I, I've had this forever. This is an 8.4 ounce. They don't even sell this anymore, which is so disappointing. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, I had to settle for this and I think I think I got it for like 10 or 15 bucks which is super cheap great everyday one all right so the next perfume I'm gonna show you guys is especially Escada Escada not sure how you pronounce it don't come for me um and this is delicate notes so I don't even remember how I stumbled upon this perfume but I've had it for a while now and I feel like nobody else talks about this perfume or has it. It's just kind of like a secret. Um, and the best way I can describe this is just really airy, fresh, and light. Great for, I wanna say like, of course daytime, but like summer and springtime, I feel like it's the best time to use this. I feel like I wanna use more of like my warm, sexy fragrances during you know the cold times which would obviously be like winter and fall but this is definitely like a summertime daytime um perfume and i really i don't even use it that much just because my other ones i always get compliments on and it's not that i don't get compliments on this one but i feel like it's one of those perfumes that you kind of have to have a taste for or like you know a smell for um, is a better way to say it and I feel like this wouldn't be 
for everyone, but I personally love it. And my mom is someone who's always complimented me on it. Um, but it does last a really long time. It's super inexpensive for the size. This is 2.5 fluid ounces. I've never bought it from the website. I've only ever bought it from um, Amazon or eBay, but eBay does offer the cheaper price. So for this 2.6 fluid ounce, sorry, 2.5 fluid ounce, um, I paid $26.75, which I feel like is such a steal. Look at this packaging, this gold on top. It has the Escada symbol on it. It just looks classy. I don't know, for some reason when I smell this, I just think of like Chanel and like Versace and Gucci. I don't know, it's just to me smells like a very like high end but fun, hey, like I wanna get to know you perfume, you know? Um, so one thing I wanna say is a lot of times if you go on uh, eBay and you're looking for perfumes, especially more expensive ones, a trick is to search them up and usually on eBay they'll sell testers, they call it, which, but they've never been opened, but they were supposed to be tester bottles. So like this was a tester bottle. So it even says on the description when I bought it, especially Escada Delicate Notes 2.5 um, fluid ounces women's perfume tester new with outer cap so you get the cap because obviously testers you know caps coming on and off it's brand new it comes in a box you get the tester price which bumps off I'm sure quite a bit from the price let me see if I can find the actual price for you guys online okay so you can actually buy this a lot of different places I know I think Sephora sells it. I just saw it pop up for CVS, which is crazy. Um, Walmart, but those places I'm looking right now just charge like a ridiculous price for the same exact size as this. I don't see, oh, here we go. Um, I'm going to the actual website for this brand. But they say that the fragrance contains a combination of musks. The fruity musk base note complements the sparkling pear and interacts with the rose accord, giving a powdery femininity to the scent. So yeah, like I said, when I spray it and wear it, I don't know, I just, for some reason, like those designer brands came to mind. I don't know. So I can't find the actual retail price of the product because it didn't say on their website. It was just giving more of a description. But honestly, I'm looking at all these different um, prices on the shop tab. And it looks like you can buy this anywhere from $23 up to $61, all for the same size. So obviously, you should be paying around like $25 is what I would say. And like I said, on eBay, I found it for about $26. So definitely um, a steal. And like I said, buy the tester bottle because you get a cheaper price. And it's brand spanking new. All right, so the last one that I'm going to show you guys is my absolute favorite all-time perfume and it has the best packaging also it almost looks like a sacred stone which i love and that is alien now it's so funny because unlike the first perfume i showed you guys where i said i get so many compliments from men when i wear this perfume i get so many compliments from women and a lot of people actually have been like are you wearing Alien? And I'm like, oh my God, yes. Do you know that fragrance? Like it's the best perfume ever. So this is on the pricier side, but it's definitely not gonna break the bank. And that is what I love about it. I only ever use this like special occasions. So if I'm like going on a date or going out to dinner or going out, you know, just like a night on the town, probably to the club and I know that I like really want to smell good all night and I want it to last. This is what I use. This size is two fluid ounces. So if you're going on the website because this is actually a perfume by Mugler, Mugler, not sure how you pronounce it. Um, it, it doesn't say it on the bottle. I'm not really sure why. Um, on the website for this size, it says, $108, which is ridiculous because I've never actually seen it uh, that price anywhere. 
if you go to eBay, which is where I buy all of my fragrances, you guys, this is $40 plus free shipping for the two fluid ounce. I think if you bump it up to the three fluid ounce, which is like the bottle is like that big, I think it's about $60, I want to say. And then they have a one fluid ounce, but it's tiny. It's like this big you're gonna run out of it so fast and i think it's like 30 dollars, which obviously is not worth it if you can buy the two fluid ounce for 40 dollars. but let me just kind of try to describe this to you guys this is like the perfume you want to wear when like you're going out and you just want to feel like a bad b okay like you put this on and you just know like you're the hottest person in the room that's honestly how i feel when i wear it so what it says is it's a rich bewitching essence that illuminates and reveals the feminine power. I mean, like I said, you put it on and you feel like that B, like you feel like that girl. Um, it says the rich notes of this woman's perfume parallel women's strengths, powerful jasmine and cashmere and wood, rich and mellow white um. I don't know if that's how you say that. Create a fragrance to unleash every woman's celestial being. It's almost like you put it on and like it's your alter ego. Honestly, that's a good way to put it. Like if you want your alter ego that's gonna it up that night and like nobody can tell you what's what, you put on this perfume. Like I really have no other way to say it, you guys. Like you just have to smell it. It's like... It's like nothing else I've ever smelled in my entire life. And it's not musty, it's not fruity, it's not sexy, it's more empowering. It's just like this empowering feeling when you put it on. And honestly, that probably makes no sense to you guys, but you know what? Go out and smell it and then you'll know what I'm talking about because that's honestly the best way to describe it. And shout out to my best friend Lacey because she was the first one who ever found it. And I was obsessed with it and I would always borrow it. And she like hates when um, anyone smells the same as her. And I'm just like, girl, like this perfume smells too good. You have to share. And then I finally got my own. And now I like don't even want to use it because it's so expensive. And I, I just don't want it to go to waste not to waste I just don't want it to run out you know so I'm almost like very very careful I pick and choose carefully when I'm gonna wear it you know it's like I said those nights when you just want to like step out of your shell and be somebody else put that perfume on all right you guys that's it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed my little spiels of these four different fragrances like I said Fragrance is kind of like your nail color and your lip color. Like you find one that works for you and you just never want to change it. Um, but honestly, I am so open to new scents, trying them out. Um, I think it's always fun to be able to like be kind of a different person, you know, just based on your scent. So, so if you guys have any favorite perfumes that you want to share, please put them in the comments below so I can go out and test them out. Maybe I could even do, you know, another video like trying out my subscribers' perfumes. I would actually love that because I feel like that's the only way I'm ever gonna step out from the ones that I'm using and I need to. Even though I love them so much, I just want to get new ones and see if anything else, you know, really just connects with me and my vibe. That's the other thing is like, I feel like perfumes are such a vibe, you know? You're like, I wanna be this person tonight, I wanna be this person tonight, I look this way tonight, you know what perfume is gonna just go with you for that vibe. So anyway, like I said, if you guys have any good ones, good recommendations, put them down below. I wanna check them out. They don't necessarily have to be affordable ones, but that's kinda what I'm going for in this video, so try to make them affordable, um, but yeah. Hopefully I will see you guys in one of my other videos. Bye.